We watch the film, eat omelette rice for lunch, then drop by our school. It's open, just as Toko-san said it would be, with noise echoing within the gym. It sounds like the basketball club is practicing, as well as the brass band. I've never been here on a weekend before. I guess people really do come here on off days. Yeah, you're probably right. Toko-san asks, staring at me with upturned eyes. The way she's practically begging me to kiss her is so cute, but her question is also rather painful. Oh, sorry, we normally did it by the stairs or in the club room. Toko-san. Not really, but we also used our tongue and stuff. Our kiss isn't particularly intense, but I'm pretty sure that she's pressing closer to me than usual. And I'm pretty sure the reason for her closeness is her anxiety. Trying to live up to her expectations, I hold her tightly and entwine my tongue around hers. Toko-san is surprised for a moment, but she soon gives in. With our tongues entwined, it feels like we are melting into each other in our tight embrace. Ignoring the immorality of making out at school, we fully immerse ourselves in our indecent act. <laughs> what is it? Maybe concentrating on our kissing will help you remember. We have time, we can kiss as much as we want, so just focus on it. If you do remember, I'll give you an even more amazing kiss. Toko-san and I continue to exchange passionate kisses inside our peaceful school. And before we realize it, the sun is setting. How many times have we kissed today? I can't even remember. We've changed locations and kissed each other countless times. But no matter how intense our kisses get, Toko-san's hands never stop trembling. <sighs> <sighs> our lips finally separate. Strands of saliva hang between our mouths. No, we can't. I'm pretty sure everyone would be weirded out. <laughs> Let's keep all of our kisses at school today our little secret. This club room was the last place. I don't even ask if she's remembered anything. 
Her expression tells me everything. We watched the film, we ate omelette rice, we kissed, and none of it has helped Toko-san's memories return. Doctors couldn't tell what's wrong and she herself says it's not an emotional reason. Which means... Huh? What for? しゅくんが悲しくて辛いの分かっちゃったよ。トコさん。そういうのは分かっちゃうぐらい一緒の時間を過ごしてきたんだよね。なんで何でだろう。なんで忘れちゃってるんだろう。ごめんなさい。本当
ご主人さんが打ち明けてくれて私は一緒にいられないって How do you think I found out how she felt? You spent an entire year with her, but even you didn't notice. And not just you, no one noticed how she felt, but I did. Why do you think that is? Koshiji san never spoke about how she felt, she never intended to. But I noticed and persuaded her it would be best for her to confess to you it had nothing to do with her OC. I have the power to perceive other people's emotions. That's how I was able to understand how Koshiji san felt when nobody else could. Yes, you might find it hard to believe, but it's the truth. I've had this power since I was a kid. Sounds convenient, huh? Well, it's not, especially since I can't control it at all. Child or adult, no one's having fun all the time. Being confronted with negative emotions like irritation or jealousy can make me sick. That's why I've never really been a social person. I kept my relationships shallow and pretended not to care about anything around me. I grew to hate being able to sense other people's emotions and kept everyone at a distance. So I just holed up at home, studying or doing housework. I was someone who had no purpose. I was someone who was empty. Though C is what triggered a change in me, but the one who put it all in the past was you, Toko-san. No, you haven't forgotten. You never knew in the first place. I don't know why myself, but I can't perceive your emotions at all. You're the only one I've ever met who I couldn't read, so it was quite a shock. When first I started talking to you, I realized how incompetent I was at even the basics of communication. I'd always relied on my power, so I couldn't tell how you felt without it. But that made me happy. I was always able to relax whenever I was with you. Being with you has helped me fix the parts of me that are lacking. That's why I need you, Toko-san. As long as I have you, I can keep looking toward the future. But all this time, I've just been relying on you. That's not what I mean. I didn't notice your anxiety. You were the one supporting me the whole time. But now I'll be the one to support you. If you forget something, we'll just experience it again. Wait, I've got a great idea. Let's go on another date. We'll go shopping together. I'll buy those clothes you said you liked last time as a present. You won't be able to forget if you have a physical memento of our relationship, right? Please, just stop saying we should break up. I really do love you. I can't even imagine a world without you by my side, Toko-san. If we were to break up, I doubt I'd ever find life fulfilling again. I'll return the favor and fix the parts of you that are lacking. So please, stay by my side. Actually, let me rephrase that. You're staying by my side and you don't have a choice in the matter. I issue that like a command, but in reality, I'm practically begging her. I probably sound like a selfish little kid right now. Toko-san lets out an exasperated sigh and actually smiles a little. <laughs> You're no longer allowed to think about leaving me ever again. Toko-san smiles radiantly. Is it me or is she actually glowing? It's not she's backlit by anything. Am I imagining this? I must be. <laughs> oh no, that's fine. I'm really happy about that. There is no need to thank me though. I'm giving you an order after all. I might have to steal your lips again if you keep on thanking me like that. 
。ありがとう、ありがとう。ほら、早く添えてくれないといつまでも続けるよ。ありがとう、ありがとう、ありがとう。Now it's my turn to smile. Guess I gotta seal her lips again. This time, though, I'm not nearly as forceful. It's a slow, gentle, loving kiss, one to fully express our feelings for each other. Then you shouldn't have suggested we break up. I'll hold you to that. In fact, this is my last order. Don't ever say that kind of bullcrap again. Our last kiss had our lips practically glued together, making it hard to breathe. But this time our lips come together and separate over and over, almost as if we are tickling each other. I can tell how Toko-san feels far better than before. Her love for me is so much clearer. Her cute mannerisms leave me unable to think of anything else. I end up losing track of time, and evening comes before I know it. Yeah, that would be embarrassing. I can't just imagine the massive fuss Inaba-san would make if she found out. It's already dark out, we should really get going. So, there's actually one more place I'd like to go to tonight. Regarding what I said earlier about perceiving people's emotions, I wasn't just messing around, I was telling the truth. It's pretty hard to prove it though, since this power doesn't work on you. That's plenty fine by me. Anyway, there's no point in waiting to go shopping together, right? I really want to buy you those clothes. It's fine. Think of it as a present to commemorate us getting together. I've already promised. This part of her hasn't changed at all. I can't exactly understand them, it's more that I can sense them. I'm able to pick up on what people are feeling happy, like. I'm able to pick up on what people are feeling, like when they're happy, angry, sad, or serious, or even when they're lying. I can't, like, read their minds or anything. I've actually been discussing that with someone. If you want, we could go and see them now. Maybe they could also help us figure out what's happening to you. It's possible. I'm actually pretty certain that her memory loss is magical in nature. This all would be far too weird otherwise. Perhaps it's connected to how Toko-san used to be an Alp. The doctors you went to couldn't find anything wrong with you, right? And it's all happening so suddenly. We cannot go if you want. Yeah, don't worry. They're a good person. Mm-hmm. 
well about that. I mean, she looks like a woman, when she's human at least. Okay, but we haven't been doing anything that would upset you, I swear. You're the only person I would ever want to do anything with. Also, she's a cat. There's really nothing to worry about. Well, I guess I wanted them to meet anyway. Okay, let's get going. For some reason, Toko-san has really worked up about this. She marches forward and shouts her battle cry with such enthusiasm that I swear I can see her shining. Wait, again? Are my eyes playing tricks on me? Just as I'm doubting myself. Toko-san trips and stumbles, dropping down to her knees. Toko-san, are you okay? Are you feeling anemic, maybe? We've been together ever since yesterday. So I know that she's been eating properly. It must have something to do with that light. Think you can stand now? Toko-san reaches out to take the hand I'm offering her, but it misses the mark, instead passing through the air next to me. Huh? And just like that, she collapses to the floor. T toko san what's wrong? Well, this doesn't sound good. Toko-san? I take Toko-san into my arms. Her eyes are open, but they are hazy and non-reactive. Her arms have fallen limp, as if she's lost consciousness. Toko-san? Toko-san! I cry out to her, but am only met with silence in return. She's glowing again. Wait, who cares? So, what do you think? Should we take her to the hospital? Soma-san feebly shakes her head. After Toko-san collapsed, I carried her straight to the Schwarze Katze. Soma-san was surprised by me barging through her door, but she turned serious the moment she saw Toko-san in my arms. We decided to go to my place so Soma-san could give Toko-san a detailed examination. Toko-san is currently lying on my bed unconscious. So, I wasn't imagining the light I saw around her. Does this have something to do with her being an elf? Yeah, she said she felt dizzy, then collapsed. Yeah, there was. You see, Toko-san's memories. I proceed to explain the matter of Toko-san's memories to the best of my ability. Soma-san listens intently, nodding periodically. A rampage? それならば、いや、しかし。Please tell me what is it? いずれこの子が元アルプで昔の力と記憶を捨てたと私が言ったことは覚えているね。いや、of yeah, of course. 
自らの魔法で封じたそれも普通の人間として生きるためだろう How is that related to what's going on here? 魔法で封じたということは封じ続けるための魔力の供給が必要になるだがアルプの記憶がない状態では他の人間から集めるのは難しいならばどうするかそして魔力の元が何であるかそちらに関しては今さら説明するまでもないだろう With emotions? Has she been seeding her powers and memories with her own emotions? So, da. Hoshna kun ga, kanojo no kokoro kanji tore na katta no wa, jokin nan ka jana katta. Tsuyo i kanjo wa maruk ni hen ka si, fuin ni nagare kom. Hoshna kun no maho ga tsuji na katta wa ke dewa na ku, so mo so mo kanji tore ru jokai dewa na katta to yu koto da. So ste. ここからが本題なんだが今封印の魔法が暴走しているおそらくは魔力の過剰な供給だ What do you mean by that? Like she has too much magic? 彼女が強い気持ちを抱けば抱くほど変換される魔力も増大し封印に流れ込む量も増すそして今想定以上の過剰な供給のせいで暴走している過去のアルプとしての力や記憶だけではなく you mean she's now seeding her current self as well? その結果が記憶の欠落でありこの昏睡だろう。No、way, but she said this hasn't ever happened before. つまりここ最近は今までにないほど強い感情を抱く毎日だったということだろう。おそらくは。幸せだったんじゃないかな、oh, Wait Is this because we fell in love? She's so happy that she's found love So happy that we are spending time with each other That it's overflowing her supply of magic? 彼女が倒れる前にどんな会話をしていた他にも彼女が高ぶる様子はなかったかい Excited Maybe this is because I accepted her even with her memory issues Is that what caused this? No, how can this be? I did this to Toko san? Is there something we can do? I'll do anything. I can't believe it. Toko san, what will happen if this continues? If she's sleeping, won't some of her magic be lost? Could she just wake back up at some point? それはおそらく難しいだろう暴走した魔法は意識にまで影響を及ぼしている意識を取り込んだ封印の中には幸せな記憶がただあるだろうつまり彼女は幸せな夢を延々と見ているような状態だ No way. Why now? とにかく私も方法を模索してみよう。すまないが、時間をくれ。OK。すまない。だが、できる限りのことはする。So, my son speaks with confidence, but I can tell she's anxious. Is there nothing I can do? 今はとにかくそばにいて、声をかけてあげるといい。私の方でも、何かわかれば、すぐに連絡をしよう。Thank you. サノバウィッチ。